co-main event. You see that Romero has the height and the reach advantage, but Cruz is two years. Matias Romero. Pitbull Cruz. Okay, boxes. You received your instructions earlier. Mine, As you obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Toco los guantes, buena suerte. At the lightweight division, we're underway. One fight, quick finish. Immediately, Cruz to keep him off you. Because I'll tell you that Cruz can keep up this frenetic Romero. There's a left hook that got him. Cruz looking to get underneath. There's a big right hand there by Isaac Cruz. He's closing the distance. Boy, he's going to have to do something to keep Cruz off him. There's a left hook to the body. Vicious body punch. There's a big shot there by Nayel. There's a left hook to the body, and he's not a try most the technical distance. Throw the right hands to try to keep Cruz at bay. One particular gear, and that's just full of pressure. There's a right hand that connected by Isaac Cruz. Over a minute has elapsed here in the second round. There's a nice right hand that connected by Cruz. You unload upon Romero. There's a left hook. There's a one two there. There's a jab ball by right hand. There's a left hook connected. Snapping back the head of Romero as the second round draws. Keep him up, keep right him up. The body by Isaac Cruz. Cruz coming forward. The corners is telling. There's a shot below the head down of Cruz. Round three, this one's going to be the There's a left hook to the body and left hook on the offensive. Cruz tagged with Romero. Destroy mode right now. And he's looking to close the distance. Under a minute left here in the third. On and away on the body as he's on. There's a couple of hooks. By disrupting his rhythm and holding him. And Cruz is to be undeterred with this pressure. As the end of the third draws to a close. Romero's tactics are they're telling him. Cruz unloading upon Romero and Romero holding again. Cruz, Cruz going right after Romero. It's more so from a defensive philosophy. There's a left hook to the body by. Nice left hook upstairs by Cruz and then he attacks the body of Romero. There's a left hook to the body by Isaac Cruz. Nice left hook connected by Isaac Cruz. Four seconds later and Romero was holding. Literally in survival mode. He's doing whatever he can to remain upright because he uses good head movements, tight guard. He's very cerebral like, surgical like in his demeanor. He's in a seeking strong mode, is my opinion. And that ends the fourth. The other one is the the body by Cruz. And a left hook that caught Cruz. He a big left hook. Did Matias Romero. Left hook that connected up steady. Cruz. We're at the midway point of the fifth. There's a left hook by Cruz. Nice left hook. Romero connected. Probably his best punch in the fight with a left hook of his own. Right. 
You watch the holding. Watch the holding. Between Zakruz and Matias for six. This one is scheduled. Zakruz looking into it to change. Warning about keeping the punches up. There's a left hook that buzzed Romero. There's a right hook to the body, and now Cruz unloading a bun. There's a one, two, six. Cruz is the one initiating this. Left hook to the body, and Romero the six. There's a left hook connected. The left hook on the button there by There's a left hook there by Alright, seconds out, seconds out. Nice combination there by Romero. There's a left hook there by Cruz on the high right to the body. And again, he ducks underneath us. Just a point. At one point, do you start to criticize the opponent that it would warrant at least a warning? Romero is resigned to the fact that he's going to lose underneath. He's tying up an excessive amount. This is just what I have ever seen in my years around this sport. Venga, como no trabajas. Son los distintos que no trabajas. Chale, respira fuerte. In the eliminator fight, in the lightweight division. And Doc finally says, watch the whole thing. Well, that should have been a thing. Cruz with an overhand right, connecting a punch. Right, chopping right hand by Cruz. Left hook to the body there by Cruz. Insanity with the holding. That's a jam followed by the right hand. Points of the eight. And that concludes round number eight. Hey, yo, 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 just let's go. You gotta get the car, Joe. That was when Romero been boxing better, and he just ate a right uppercut from Cruz. Right to the body. This round. There's a left hook there. Romero. Romero about keeping his head up. There's a left hook that snapped back the head of Romero. There's a nice right hook. I'm a Chicago Bears fan in the NFL. That's the football team for the Bears. And that Romero has done. He would give our offensive tackles a run for their money. He's scheduled for 12. I get really disappointed and agitated in watching Pride Spiders be pretty ridiculous. From Romero. Being mandatory here at 135. He's dipping down underneath, looking at Amber Way upon the body. Left hook to the body there by Cruz. And away from Romero. There's an overhand right, followed by a left. There's a right by. And that'll end the 10th. We go to the 11th.
And the nice one, two. There's an overhand right followed by a left over the top there. There's a nice echoing right hand by Isaac Cruz. Cruz looking to pick up the pace, step back. Then a the left hook connecting right on the jungle here in the 11th. There's a nice right hand by Cruz. Cass runs offensively by Romero. Probably because the fact that... There's it by Isaac Cruz. He's in control against Matias Romero. And there is the beginning of the round. Nice right hand there by Cruz. Bang, right there on the jaw. There's a left hook. Left hook to the body by Cruz to Romero. There's a right to the body by the lightweight division. Now Romero wants to stand and trade as the final moments of the fight. And that ends the fight. There is, there is Isaac Cruz who's been unbeaten in uh, five years. No matter likely. Isaac Pitbull Cruz. So here are the score totals. Len Feldman 114, 113. What was he watching? Morgan 115, 112. Weisfeld 118, 109.